in John 10, we get to the third I am statement that Jesus makes where he says, I am the door. Let's have a look. John 10 verse 7. So Jesus again said to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, I am the door of the sheep. All who came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the door. If anyone enters by me, he will be saved and will go in and out and find pasture. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. I think we use a door for three main reasons. We use a door to provide access to a room, but we also use a door to restrict access. When you put up a door, it's because you want to have some control over who goes in and who comes out of that room. And thirdly, we use a door just to kind of provide passageway from one room to another. And I think Jesus means all of these three things when he says, I am the door. So the first use, I am the means of access. What he means is, I am the only way that you will have access to God again. That's why he said, if you enter through me, you will be saved. It's kind of similar to when Jesus will later say, I am the way, the truth and the life. No man comes before the Father but through me. He's saying he is the only means of access to God. You only get to God the Father again through Jesus Christ the Son. The second reason we have a door is to restrict access. Jesus certainly means this here because he talks about thieves and robbers and those who want to steal, kill and destroy. And so when he says, I am the door, what he is very definitely saying is, I am the one who will keep them out. I am the one who will protect you. And it's interesting in those times, shepherds actually literally were the doors. There were no actual physical gates. The shepherd would lie down in the opening to the sheepfold where they slept at night so that any intruder would literally have to cross over the shepherd to get to the sheep. And Jesus is saying, I am the door. I, I lie in the doorway of your life and I will protect you from those that would come to harm you. And so when he says, I am the door, he's saying, I am the means of granting access of restricting access. But then thirdly, he is the, the connection, the passage to this different room, to this abundant life. That's what he meant when he said, he who, far, who comes through me will go in and out and find pasture. They'll find themselves in a space, in a way of life that is described as abundant. See, as human beings, we don't just want to survive. I mean, we do. We do need security, but we want more than to just survive. We want to thrive. And that's what Jesus is describing here. He is the means of entering into a thriving, fulfilling, purposeful life. So when he says, I am the door, he means at least those three things. I am the means of access to God. You can only be saved through me. I am also your protection. And I am also the way that you will enter into this abundant life. May you enter through Jesus the door today.